What up, y'all? Welcome to Pooper the Pocket. Oh, God damn it. Fucking cigarette broke. Oh, fucking thing. We're going to focus on it. Oh, there you go. Oh, nope. Anyway, that is broke. You have to take my word for it. I have to smoke it carefully. How y'all doing today? I'm doing just fucking great. Working on the fucking drywall. I just finished sanding everything. As you can see, I don't want to touch my hair and get the dust everywhere. I'm covered in this shit. But. Fuck, man. I don't tell my wife. I'm like tracking all this drywall dust and shit through the house. She'll get pissed at me. And uh, don't don't tell her I'm smoking either. She'll get pissed at me. <sighs> Told myself, I was like, alright. I need to get this shit done. I'm not gonna poop until uh until I reach a satisfactory point where I feel like I've gotten enough accomplished today, then I can go poop. And here I am and well this is fucking this is great. Been waiting a long time for this one. At least a few hours. But uh I've probably mentioned before my last job I used to I used to travel all over the country. I've been a lot of fucking places in this country. And uh I was down in Texas. I don't remember what city it was. Greenville, I think it was. And, uh, me and this guy, a good friend of mine, here at work. And he's one of the motherfuckers, like, he starts working. He doesn't take breaks or nothing like that. And, uh, we were eating at this place called Tacos Buenos every night after work. They, it was like a high class Taco Bell. That shit was really fucking good. And every morning we'd go leave the hotel, go to the plant to work. And uh, we were working on a couple of upsetters over there. You know, forging presses, upsetters. You have to look it up. I don't even know how to describe them fucking things. Anyways, uh, so every day sitting there I tried to shit before we left you know and I don't know I didn't have enough coffee or something I don't know but so uh we'd pull in I'd be like fuck man I got shit you know like as soon as we park I'm like fuck I get the bubble gut I'm like god damn it dude I can't shit you know I got the plant because I'm a customer in their plant and I don't want them to see me going in every day and taking a shit right off the bat so I'd fucking have to work through it for anywhere from 12 to like 15, 16 hours. And I'm like, oh yeah, you know, we need to go back and take a shower before we go head up to the Taco Buenos. About the, oh, we were out there for two or three weeks working and I, uh, probably about the fifth or sixth day, I guess, we pull in and I'm like, man, oh my god, dude. I'm like thinking to myself, like, dude, this is bad, man. I'm, I'm gonna have to shit in this fucking plant. I don't want to. And Tony, he parks the truck, puts it in park, fucking <sighs> looks at me, he's like, why is it every day we pull in this place, I gotta shit? Man, that was one of them times where somebody says something and it just like speaks to your fucking soul and you're like like yeah me too buddy it's like dude he's like you got shit I'm like dude every fucking day we get in here we pull in and park and i get the bubble gut and i have to shit and he starts laughing he's like oh dude me too man it's like dude you want to head back to the hotel and shit i'm like fuck yes i do so oh my god i was like uh, that's comparable to this shit right here. How good that felt. That, oh, man. Go back to the hotel. Fucking poop. I was so productive that day. 
Because I wasn't fighting the bubble gut, the, you know, big fucking eight pounds of shit in my gut. Fucking tacos buenos will fuck your shit up, man. But, yeah, it was pretty cool, man. There's another time we were in uh, Cincinnati working on uh, another foraging press. That was a 1,200-ton, uh, what the fuck kind of press was that? Uh, that don't matter. It was like an Ajax. But, um, we rebuilt the clutch out of that fucker. And we ended up having to replace the back shaft, too. And... Fuck, man, I, dude, I had to pee so fucking bad. And I'm like, dude, Tony, man, I gotta take a piss. He's like, no, oh, not till you fucking get this, uh, get this be bearing race out of this fucking thing here. And I'm like, oh, fuck, dude. Dude, I was that fucking close to pissing my fucking pants, dude. Holy shit. By the time I got that bearing race out of there, whew, and I was like, Tony, you need to let me out of this fucking lift. We're up in a scissor lift. I'm like, dude, I need to get down and take a piss, dude, because I'm, like, I'm, like, running, holding, hold, like, got the fucking death grip on my dick so I don't fucking piss my pants in the middle of the plant. I fucking ran and fucking, oh, man, that piss was so good. Anyways, uh, y'all wash your hands after you poop.